So Yunzi sent us another one of their keyboards with a tri-mod connectivity, a 5000mAh battery, lubed switches, a full hot swap south facing PCB, and a gasket mounted PC plate with that new modular design we may slap on or off depending on taste. And the number one thing I totally appreciate with keyboard freebies is that PET dust cover. The YZ87 retails for only $80 and with everything this keyboard has and offers, that's pretty much difficult to beat. We will tear this down and go over the specs as fast as we can so you know what needs knowing before you buy. I spent hours and hours on this video so a like or a sub is greatly appreciated. By the way, Yunzi sent me this keyboard to create this review video for you. The YZ87 is cased in ABS and is fully damped so no extra modification needs to be done unless you want to redo the switches or replace the dampeners. Underneath, you get kick up feet, standard to keyboard cases at this price range. At the top, you get its switch for whatever device you're using this on, plus however you want this to be connected, be it wired, Bluetooth, or dongle. And as for branding, you only get Yunzi's brand underneath the board and a small one above the arrow keys. I personally do not like having heavy branding on my keyboards, so that small spec right there is just okay. The keycaps are Cherry Profile PBTs with two color options. I rearranged some keycaps and button functions here thanks to its software but we'll get to that later. The modular design is removable and can be replaced with actual switches and keycaps. I don't use that top row so I opted for this material instead. You get two designs to choose from, be it the clouds and waves or the techie looking one. I don't have exact words to describe this but uh, yeah. You get the gist of it. As for the RGB, its south-facing LEDs has 19 RGB modes and 8 colors in total. Now let's tear this down, shall we? To start off, use a prying tool and insert about half a centimeter in between the top cover and bottom case. And pry them off like that. Pry off 6 clips on top, 6 clips below, and 3 clips on both sides. Once done, as a gasket structured board, there are no screws on this plate. Take out the plate and PCB, yet be mindful of the wires connecting to the daughter board and battery because they're um, pretty short. The PCB sockets are not too tight on my unit so no worries there. Also, the PCB is screwed into the plate so undo those first before separating them. Going over the internals real quick, its plate is made of polycarbonate and gaskets are made of silicone. So far, its gasket action is there even with silicones. They're pretty soft and squishy anyways. The PCB has flex cuts and that one I like. Yes sir, flex cut PCB. One con here is that there are no screw in holes for screw in stabs so you're stuck with plate mounted ones. Let's review the foams this time and by the way I believe this is where UNZ shines. Underneath it all you get a custom cut silicone pad then pour on foam directly under the PCB. Above the PCB you get a switch pad then a plate dampening foam. I would tape mod this yet at the same time I don't want to because by the time I'm shooting this I haven't even recorded the sound acoustic test for the stock keyboard but uh, what a bummer. Stock stabilizers are plate mounted and generously greased. I don't see any branding on the stab so I'm unsure what the brand is. I don't hear any rattles though when tapping on the stabilized keys. Its switches are milk switches from Yunzi. They're fairly light and not as heavy as red switches from Cherry or Cherry Red copies. These are 3 pin switches with dust proof palm stems. It's very important to note though that these are long pole switches which help with keycap profile compatibility. Anyways, here's a brief acoustic test for y'all. Uh, well, to my ears, they sound creamy and that's probably why they're called milk switches? Software has everything you need, from RGB options to key binding, and guess what? When recording macros, you may insert mouse buttons. Middle mouse, left, right. Yunzi, you're doing something right. I always speak about adding mouse buttons to keyboard macros, yet only a few keyboards I've tried applied this function. I hope this stays consistent, Yunzi, because this, for me, especially for MMORPG players, this is a game changer. Oh, and if you've seen this face like a couple of times already and you're still not subscribed, mm, no problem. But hey, I would suggest you do and click that notification bell so when a new release comes out, you would know.